I've directed over 350 plays and musicals. Now I feel like you're kissing her hair. You get up. You moved her you know, hair. Yeah. You say something about. Um, <laughs> now watch closely what I do. Actually, this is my 50th year of teaching, believe it or not. Shh. Uh, go back. She didn't say. She you didn't say you took the medal. She said you grabbed at it, and that Claude ran away down the beach. Did you have the medal even then? No, mommy, not then. See? I am often called Teacher of the Stars, not only because so many of my students today are outstanding in the world of entertainment, but I have students that are outstanding in law, in medicine, in education. They are my stars. You? I can't believe how young you look. It's this easy life. I haven't seen you in so Coming long. Coming to see you makes me young again. It brings back memories. This is my editor. Jay is a guy who took chances on certain kids, took risks with certain kids. I always consider Jane Jensen's class the center of the universe. And you know in school, if you're slightly different, the kids are rotten to you. If they think you're gay, they pick on you. If they think you're dumb, they pick on you. For me, it was a very difficult time. It's for most teenagers. When I first met Mr. Jensen, I was a very, very fat adolescent. I always felt like an outcast. I was long-haired, uh, yoga hippie boy on the edge of my sexuality. And I found refuge in Jay's class because he didn't tolerate any, any racism. He really made you feel great about yourself, and especially, and even I me, mean, he had like a wicked sense of humor. Even to the point where, like, you knew, even if he was sort of teasing you, you knew he actually loved you. You know what I mean? You actually felt like he, I mean, you can soar. I was a jock basically all my life. I got kneeled in my senior year. I couldn't play basketball my senior year. And the acting was really a, a place that I found a tremendous solace. I felt a lot of freedom and love and, and safety in his class. You know, because when you take a class and you've never taken a drama class and you know, you kind of, you're in there and you go, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? And do they really want me to get up in front of this class and do something? You know, it's, it's a very kind of uh, new and dangerous thing, you know, and scary. I teach because I love teaching. Let me tell you something. He opened almost every class with the following, and he did this for about 15 other people down the road. Boys, girls. Firestone, you know, that was how it always started. Am I right? <laughs> yes, that's yes, it. Boys, girls, Firestone, that was always my... I was giving you top billing. <laughs>